Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve the rational equation on the board. Now, to do this, our first step should be to combine these two fractions into one single unit. But notice that in doing that, at some point we will have to multiply minus 13 by minus 16, minus 15 by minus 14, and minus 14 by minus 16. But also notice that these four numbers are very close to each other and the signs before them are all the same. So to make life easy for ourselves and avoid these double digit number multiplications, we are going to start this solution with a very simple substitution. Let d be equal to x minus 14. That is this. And of course, from here we have that x is equal to d plus 14. Now, rewriting the original equation in terms of d. In this numerator, we have x minus 13. But remember that x is now d plus 14 minus 13 divided by, of course, x minus 14 is equal to d minus. Here we have d plus 14 minus 15 divided by d plus 14 minus 16. And of course, this is still equal to minus 1 over 12. Now, simplifying this, 14 minus 13 is 1. So we have d plus 1 over d minus 14 minus 15 is minus 1. And 14 minus 16 is minus 2. And of course, this is still equal to minus 1 over 12. Now, at this point, we can combine these two fractions into one single unit. So we multiply this numerator by this denominator. And we have d plus 1 multiplied by d minus 2 minus. We multiply this denominator by this numerator. We have d times d minus 1 divided by we multiply this denominator by this denominator we have d into d minus 2 and of course everything is still equal to minus 1 over 12. now to simplify this let us start by opening these two brackets d times d is d squared d times minus 2 is minus 2d. 1 times d is plus d. And 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. Minus d times d is minus d squared. And minus d times minus 1 is plus d. Divided by d times d is d squared. d times minus 2 is minus 2d. And on the right hand side, we still have minus 1 over 12. Let us further simplify. Of course, d squared minus d squared is equal to 0. Minus 2d plus d is equal to minus d. Minus d plus d is equal to 0. So in this numerator, we are left with minus 2. And in the denominator, we have d squared minus 2d and this is still equal to minus 1 over 12. Now if we multiply both sides of this equation by minus 1 this is going to take care of that and now we can cross multiply. When we do that we have that d squared minus 2d times 1 is equal to 12 times 2 which is 24. Now let us rearrange this quadratic equation. We have d squared minus 2d minus 24 is equal to 0. We can factorize this quadratic equation. All we have to do is to find the factors of minus 24 that add up to minus 2. And that is going to be, since this is negative, minus 6 and plus 4 because minus 6 
times plus 4 is going to give us minus 24, while minus 6 plus 4 is going to give us minus 2. So we have that the factors of this quadratic equation are d minus 6 and d plus 4. And of course, this is equal to 0. And of course, you know that when we have a statement like this, it simply means that either d minus 6 is equal to 0 or d plus 4 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, when we add 6 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 6. And from here, when we subtract 4 from both sides of the equation, we have that d is equal to minus 4. But remember that we are looking for the value of x, not d. And x is equal to d plus 14. So we have that x is equal to 14 plus 6. And in this case, x is equal to 14 minus 4. 14 plus 6 is equal to 20. And 14 minus 4 is equal to 10. So we have that the two values of x that satisfy this rational equation are x equal to 20 and x equal to 10. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.